The world of mobile filmmaking has exploded over the last few years, and Blackmagic Design has taken it to the next level with the Blackmagic Camera app, Blackmagic Cloud, and DaVinci Resolve. So let's take a look at how to use them all together for a seamless mobile filmmaking experience. Okay, let's talk about what you'll need in order for all this to work. First, obviously, is DaVinci Resolve. The cool thing is you can use either the free version or the studio version. The second thing you need is a Blackmagic Cloud account and a project library on that account. Project library pricing depends on how much storage you want, but 15 bucks a month will get you one project library and 500 gigs of storage, which is honestly more than enough to get started. The third thing you'll need is the Blackmagic Camera app. Now, unfortunately, the app is only available on iPhone right now, and I haven't seen anything indicating that it's coming to Android. But, you know, fingers crossed for all you Android users out there. I actually used to be an Android user. I feel your pain. Okay, let's get started. Now, in order to do this, you need to create a cloud project. So open up DaVinci Resolve, and in the top left of the project window, click on the cloud icon. Sign into cloud, make sure you're in the correct cloud library, and click on new project. From there, simply go down the list in the window that pops up. First, we'll give our project a name and choose a location for our project media. From there, we'll decide whether this will be a single user project or a project with multiple users. Then we'll decide if we want to sync our storage with Blackmagic Cloud. Now, I always choose sync proxies and originals, but if you're not collaborating with anyone on the edit, you can choose not to sync the media at all. Next, we'll enable remote camera access by making sure the allow remote camera access box is selected and we'll click create. Now, before we move on to the camera app side of things, I've got a quick pro tip. While the cameras on phones have come a long way, the microphones, not so much. So if whatever you're filming has dialogue, record that dialogue separately. And if it doesn't have dialogue, I would still highly recommend using Foley and sound effects to replace whatever audio you recorded with the phone. Luckily, today's sponsor, Artlist, has all of the Foley and sound effects you need. Artlist is a huge library of music, sound effects, and stock footage that you can use to take your edits to the next level. They also have a bunch of plugins, effects, and templates that you can use, so they're literally a one-stop shop for all of your video editing needs. Artlist Artlist's AI-powered search filters make everything super easy to find, and they have multiple formats available, including both WAV and MP3 for audio files, and even RAW and LOG footage, which is super useful if you need to color grade your stock footage to match the rest of your edit. Which, by the way, you do. Artlist has plans to fit any budget, including plans with unlimited licenses that allow you to use their assets on any project, anywhere, at any time. So if you're looking for a nearly unlimited library of assets that you can use on your videos, click the link in the description and check out Artlist today. If you sign up using that link, you'll get two months free on top of an annual subscription and you'll be helping out the channel. So, you know, win-win. Thanks so much to Artlist for sponsoring this video. And now that our Resolve project is set up, it's time to set things up in the camera app. So first things first, open the camera app. Obviously. Now, I'm not going to go over the entire camera app because, well, that's not what this video is about. But if you want me to make a video about the Blackmagic camera app, let me know in the comments. If enough people want it, maybe I'll make it. For now, though, we need to go into the media tab of the camera app. This is where you can find all of the clips that you've recorded, and it's also where you can log into Blackmagic Cloud so you can sync the app with DaVinci Resolve. To do this, simply click on the cloud icon in the top right of your screen. Enter your credentials and click log in. From there, click on the switch icon in the top left of the media tab. In the Blackmagic Cloud section, simply select the project that you want to upload your clips to. This will ensure that when you record a clip, it will automatically be placed in the correct project. We're almost done, but we need to head over to the Settings tab in your camera app and take care of a few things. So click on the Settings icon, then click on Media. The first setting we're going to change is the Upload Clip setting. By default, it's set to proxies only, which is fine. But if you're a solo editor, you're going to need those originals too, so go ahead and change it to Originals and Proxies. Next, we're gonna turn on Auto Upload to Selected Project. This way you don't have to worry about remembering to upload later, which is something that I forget 
basically any time that I go out filming with my phone. Finally, if you want, you can choose to enable upload only over Wi-Fi if you want to save data, choose where you want to save your clips on your phone, and whether or not you want to save location data to the clip. You can even choose how your clips are named. And with all of that out of the way, we can film a clip. Once you're done, head over to the media tab, click on the project that you're uploading to, and you should see your proxy uploading. After the proxy is done, the original will start. Now, the original clip will take a while to upload. And when I say a while, I mean like 15 minutes for a 10 second clip. So, you know, be patient. Once your upload is complete, head over to DaVinci Resolve and open up your project. You should see a bin in your media pool called Camera Uploads. And in that bin, you should see your video clip. At first, it'll just be the proxy, but the original will follow along once it's done uploading. And then you'll be able to switch seamlessly between the two while you're editing. And since you uploaded the proxy and the original together, there won't be any syncing necessary, which is awesome. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you want to see a video going over the camera app, then check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.